Hickok 45 here, your cargo shorts cowboy, shooting a single action. Let's pop something. Yeah, buddy. Wow, must be a 44 Magnum. Feels like a 44, but no, it's a nine millimeter. Yes, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Taylor and Company, 1875 outlaw so model 1875 nine millimeter luger but it is an outlaw so that makes me an outlaw for shooting it and i'm glad you could come here and participate and be an accessory right to the to the crime and uh yeah we'll talk about that caliber a little bit okay <laughs> but uh it, it seems like a nice pistol i fired it i think yeah on a sunday morning uh, shoot around video you all saw it many of you and uh you know I shot a little bit since then not much but it's it seems okay it really does uh so an italian made you know uh taylor and company uh 1875 this is a re a kind of a reproduction of the remington you're familiar the difference one reason the only reason thing i brought a colt single action out was again a reminder the the difference there the remingtons were very very similar but a little different you know, the early ones had the web there and everything, and they had the grip extended, which I don't really like that much. The Colt feels better to me, but it's Remington and Colt, and uh, it's kind of the difference. So, uh, fairly new offering. Uh, Taylor and Company uh, offered to send it, and I said, yeah, send it. We'll donate it. So I'll let you know who we donate it to. And uh, just going to shoot it. And I, it was interesting to me that it's in 9 millimeter. Yeah, now I know you would think, wow, Hickok, you mean you didn't just turn your nose up at that? I'm really disappointed in you. And maybe you should be disappointed in me every time you see me, but maybe not for that. Uh, let me unload it as I'm yakking. You know, when you think about it, and boy, if there's ever a caliber snob, ammo snob, gun snob, yeah, I'm probably it, right? I know, I've just been messed with guns so long, you can't help but turn yourself into a snob. And, uh, but, uh, you know, in some ways, uh, so yeah, nine millimeter in one of my good old cowboy guns, you know, be just like having it in this, you know, everybody knows a good old single action ought to have a chamber as big as your thumb, right? 45 gold, preferably like that. But maybe there's a place for nine millimeter. You know, uh, funny, I was shooting Underwood in that hollow points. Yeah, so maybe it's a tactical round. <laughs> so I say that. I was just kidding. No, it, it, it's pretty interesting. Uh, nine millimeter. And I really did. It, I have to say, yeah, yeah, we'll do a video on that. That'd be fun. Uh, I can make fun of that for 10 minutes. But, you know, really more I thought about it. The, uh, let me put some more in while I'm yakking. This is some, uh, you yeah, know, again, the nice have variety. Steinle ammo. Uh, uh, the more I thought about it, it it kind of hit me that, you know, 45 Colt, 44 Special, a lot of the cartridges that these fine old guns and reproductions of them are chambered in are very expensive, aren't they? And sometimes very difficult to come by at any price. And you all know that, many of you. And uh, so 9mm certainly is a lot less expensive to shoot than 45 colt uh, what we just ballpark let's say a box of standard ball ammo nine millimeters what now 15 20 bucks or something and uh you know a box of 45 colt you go buy it off the shelf it could be what 50 60 70 bucks or some you know crazy prices so so maybe i shouldn't make fun of the chambering in this and maybe you shouldn't either and if you always wanted a uh cowboy gun that's the <laughs> the the big category right uh you know it, it's something to think about you could actually take it out and fire it you could find ammo we'll shoot that target yeah look at that accuracy oh boy should i try one at the gong let me step over here where i can see it All right, rings the bell. Can't beat that. I tell you, it has a. I, I typically don't like the Remington style grip, 
but for some reason, I don't know if it's a little fatter, this one feels better. <laughs> feels better. Oh boy. Click. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's something that you would consider. I don't know. Just want to make you aware it's available and uh, we'll give it away. And not because it's nine millimeter. It's just, you know, we'll just do it anyway. Because uh, it was free. And, uh, you know, give you a chance to, to look at it and see that it, the thing exists. And again, it is the 1875 Outlaw. And you get this extra web on these babies. And, uh, you know, that creates a little different situation here. You know, if you want to take the cylinder out, which I won't do right now, but uh, you push this base pin. Well, where's the base pin? Well, it's way out here. Way out here. So it has to be a lot longer. Get my thumbnail on it. See, so it comes out up here and you take the cylinder out. All that. It comes out and kind of locks in. It doesn't, I don't think it comes all the way out. It might. But so just a little bit different design. And uh, these were never quite as popular as the Colt single action, but they had their, uh, had their fans. Uh, if you've seen Open Range, uh, what's his name? Well, uh, Robert Duvall, can't think of what his name is in that show. That's really bad because I've seen that several times. But he carries one of these, you know, he knows, and then you know, he uh, almost makes fun of Kevin Costner because he's carrying a Colt single action. Says, you always like something lighter, didn't you? Well, there's really not much difference in weight, uh, but, uh, you know, it looks like there ought to be with that fin on there, doesn't it? So this thing sells for about, load it up, shooter again. Loads, it shoots for, or uh, sells, uh, load sells and shoots, but it sells for about, well, I don't know, it's MSRP is 680. So it just kind of depends on where you find it, I guess. So should we shoot some tactical ammo? <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's shoot some Underwood hollow points in it. So uh, yeah, you might have more options, come to think of it, uh, with a nine millimeter than you would <laughs> with 45 Colt. An old cowboy round, right? Yeah, we really do appreciate Wideners for their ammo sponsorship. Check the description and uh you see the link and the discount code and everything so you know never know what you're gonna see on the table all right let's put it back in the holster go down here and see uh, how it how it does uh how it would do in a uh, an okay corral type shoot you know where you had to pull and pop somebody Boom. you got to make sure And you put it back in the holster. You got to make sure you have six in it if you know you're going into a gunfight, right? Now, I was load five. It's a good habit to get into. But if you know, as John Wayne says, if you're, what's he say? If you're in the shootest, if your insides tells you to put that six round in there, that means trouble's nearby. And so the safety aspect uh, is not quite as important. Your, your life is the big safety factor <laughs> at that point. All right. Let's pull this thing out and pop a bowling pin. Yeah, that's a cool thing about a bowling pin. You can shoot it from about anywhere. Click. If you have ammo. I knew it was empty. I fooled John and you all both, didn't I? So, yeah, uh, interesting firearm. Just wanted to let you see it. And I, I yeah, it is pretty interesting. Nine millimeter. And I guess if, if there's anybody out there uh, I'm the one to uh, oh to come clean and admit that they're probably it, it's not all that atrocious that that someone made one of these beautiful old single actions in nine millimeter. You know, it, it's one you could sit around and just make fun of all day long, in a way. But uh, you know, with the cost of ammo, I've already talked about all that the availability. To have something you want uh, a farm like this or a cult or whatever and to have one that you can find ammo for and it doesn't you don't have to get a second mortgage on your house to get the ammo yeah there's something to be said for that so uh, so i'll be nice <laughs> i'll be nice and you know when you think about it the the old colt single actions and going all the way back there the the smaller chamberings were also very popular not as popular as a 45 colt uh because the numbers tell the story but you know they were chambered in some 38s and 357s later on, and 38 long, 38 various 38 calibers, and which is basically what a nine millimeter is, right? 
So, uh, but anyway, there was no nine millimeter cartridge until 1901, thanks to Mr. Luger. And uh, you know, I guess it's kind of hard to chamber in a rim cartridge like that, or a non rim cartridge like that. It takes a little more, uh, the head spacing, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't have been surprised. Maybe there was one, there might have been one. Uh, I've read a lot about the history of Colt and their single actions. Could be in early 1900s, there were a few of them made in nine millimeter. I don't think so, but there might have been. So you might know that, chime in if you know. So I'll unload this and go away and quit hassling you all about it. And uh, I appreciate you coming by. And uh, I don't think I thanked uh, Alabama holster. Like I said, I've got one in my pocket almost all the time. And they make great belt holsters. They don't look like this. They're more practical, they're Kydex and uh, you can get outside the waistband, inside the waistband, pocket holsters, purse holsters, and all that kind of thing. And uh, I've been using them for a long time, you all know that. We really appreciate their support. And uh, appreciate you all coming around to watch. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here, also uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.